Hi, today we're talking about Matthew chapter 19, verses 1 through 12, a lesson about marriage is ordained of God. Last week I brought up the principle that you can give a man a fish and feed him for a day, or teach a man to fish and feed him for a lifetime, and how this applies to our students in seminary. We want to teach our students how to fish in the scriptures, how to be able to find doctrines and principles Besides just identifying doctrines and principles in the scriptures, it's important that they are clearly stated. B.H. Roberts said, To be known, the truth must be stated. And the clearer and more complete the statement is, the better the opportunity will the Holy Spirit have for testifying to the souls of men that the work is true. So, not only do we want our students finding principles in the scriptures, we want them to be able to state them in a clear and simple way so that the Holy Ghost can testify powerfully that they are true. The lesson in Matthew chapter 19, verses 1 through 12, has several opportunities to identify principles clearly and simply so that the Spirit can testify of them powerfully. One of the most important questions, I think, comes about halfway through the lesson right here, and I've highlighted it in yellow. And it is, what do you learn about Heavenly Father by knowing that He wants marriages to endure forever? I think that this idea is a great idea to begin the lesson and frame the conversation in a really productive and positive way. Then I think the conversation that we have about Matthew chapter 19 will be better. There's a great uh, introductory learning activity here and then a poll, a, a little survey that we would ask our students, which of the following describes your current feelings about marriage. Excited, nervous, worried, confused. This is a good gauge to see how your students are feeling. And again, it can direct your conversation uh, a little bit later in the lesson about the principles the truths that they're finding about marriage from this chapter. Here is our only scripture block of the entire lesson. Chapter 19, verses 3 through 8. So we're going to read these six verses. Mark words and phrases that show how the Lord views marriage. Um, and then here's our question and our opportunity to help our students dive into the scriptures and fish a little bit for themselves. What truths did Jesus Christ teach about marriage and divorce that you wish more people in the world understood and why? And I would write these up on the board or write these in a study notebook. There's some really great teachings about marriage here. And then as we go through the lesson, there are some identified principles. Marriage between a man and a woman is sacred. It is a sacred relationship established by God and meant to endure forever. That's an eternal truth coming out of the family proclamation. But there's other principles too, like marriage brings happiness. That is a true principle. And our Heavenly Father has an amazing marriage. I think that would be a true principle as well. Here are some other principles along with quotes from various general authorities. And again, back to that question that we started with, what do you learn about Heavenly Father by knowing that He wants marriage to endure forever? After we've identified some of those initial principles from the scriptures, our students may still have questions. They may still have concerns, things that they don't understand. So the lesson recommends using some of the following resources to search for additional truths, think principles, that help answer the questions you or others may have about marriage. And so these principles or, or these resources are the family proclamation, these doctrinal mastery passages on marriage, a lot of them coming from other previous years in seminary. So some of your older students, um, you know, your seniors may have had doctrine and covenants and they may be familiar with some of these scriptures. General conference talks or church videos that teach about marriage. And then Something that uh, Brother Judd recommended a few weeks ago is maybe texting a trusted loved one during class that says, hey, I have some questions about marriage. What would you say is the key to having a happy marriage? And if they send out that text to someone they know and then they get an answer back that they can read to the class, that's an, a way that they can be engaged with loved ones at home and it can really bring some excitement and energy to your lesson. 
again, as they search these documents and find teachings, add those to the board. Add those to the journal entry that they're making here about marriage. So they're going to have all kinds of principles or truths about marriage that teach us really about our Heavenly Father and our Heavenly Mother because they have an amazing marriage and they do want us to be happy and marriage should be something that our students look forward to and are starting to get uh, build confidence and, and faith in the institution of marriage at this age. Have a great time with this lesson and thanks for everything you do.